All right, you guys, so this is the stuff that you're gonna need if you are trying to bleach your hair extensions. My son is right over there in his pack and play. Okay, so you're gonna need like a trash bag or something to cover up your table or wherever you're gonna be bleaching. I also have a brush right here so I can brush out my hair extensions. I have this Zotos Professional Ultra Bond. It is a cream lightener and it lifts up to nine plus levels, proven to strengthen and protect hair. I also have a 30 volume developer. I have these aftercare sealers. Oh my God, you guys see my nails? Definitely watch that video of when I tested out these stick-on nail polish. I also have the color that I am going to be putting on top of the extensions. It is a light golden brown. And then I also have a 10 volume developer to mix with these two um, color. It's the same color, but I'm gonna mix these two uh, packets of color together and you pour this whole bottle in together how many times I'm gonna say together. Everything came out to be $39.30 at Sally's. I already had this at home, but I believe this is only what, like two, three bucks, so it'd be around 40 something dollars, but I already had this at home. But these two things, this cream lightener, these two colors, and the other developer for that was all $39.30. And then I already had my uh, Gabby Martino hair extensions that I got for Christmas last year and oh my goodness uh, that I got last year but now my hair is lighter than a dark brown you guys can see I have a light golden brown color that I'm gonna try to put on these the workers at Sally's are like don't bleach your extensions because they don't have the natural oils that your scalp produces and you know it could damage them and I'm the type of person that yes you know, I got these for Christmas from my mom, but my mom was also in Sally saying, we're gonna bleach them and that's what we're gonna do. They're just hair extensions. Yes, they're pricey, but that is the reason why I'm going to be bleaching these because they are a higher quality and of course more expensive than the ones that you get at a Sally's. I'm hoping that it will lift the color a little bit so I can put this light golden brown on top. So if you wanna see me, so if you want to see me bleach my hair extensions or attempt to, then just keep on watching.
you guys, my son has his little tablet on, so if you hear that, he's getting a little fussy. I want to rinse these out because they are lightening way quicker than I thought, and I don't want them to get too, too light, so I might rinse out a single because it's kind of already looking like my natural hair color, and I don't want them to get too blonde. I've been doing this now for 17 minutes, well, probably 15 because, you know, I'm talking, but I'm going to rinse these out because they are lightening up amazing, and we'll see how they look. I have to tend to my son real quick, so let me rinse them out and tend to him. product looks like on the hair extensions. I think that they match my hair perfectly and I can't wait to put them on. That's what we're about to do right now so you guys can see how I clip them in super quick. I do have an updated video on me using these extensions when they were dark brown clipping them in and I have like I think one or two videos from like four or five years ago of me clipping extensions. I still use the same technique. That's what I'm going to do so I'm going to speed that part up. I only kept the bleach on for like 15 minutes while I was doing the hair extensions and by my last piece I kept that on for like another minute, rinsed them out and it literally lifted to the perfect color. I'm so happy with how this turned out and you know I can't wait to walk back into Sally's and show them my hair extensions because they look perfect. So let's clip them in, I can't wait to see how they look in my head. I haven't been able to wear these since I haven't dyed my hair in so long trying to get it back to its natural color and I think we're like there so so excited I'm gonna clip them in now I'm getting ready to film my 2000 subscriber giveaway so I'll make sure to leave that video down below you guys will be able to see all the rules on how to enter so stay tuned for that here we are a million stars floating over our heads finished product it's not even styled this is how the hair when I blew dry it, it kind of came into like this wavy natural wave kind of like how my natural hair is oh my god I can't believe that I'm able to wear my hair extensions again and they actually match especially with like the amount of money that they were because you know I looked at the price before like I got them for Christmas and you know they're expensive for hair extensions but they're amazing quality and they literally lightened like I said it took like 
15 minutes for the whole process and I was still bleaching like a few more pieces while they were almost done. So really easy, really simple. That lightener is amazing. If you guys are looking to try and lighten your hair extensions, I would definitely pick up that lightener from Sally's. And yeah, I love the way this came out. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me bleach my hair extensions. I am so glad that it isn't a major fail and it actually turned out exactly the way that I was hoping it would and I'm just so excited that I get to rock my extensions again and you know be able to be even more glam be a glam mama and just feel really really good about myself you know doing these things and you know wearing extensions and wearing makeup that just helps me to feel even more you know confident and better about myself and it's just something that I truly enjoy so now being able to wear my extensions is a win-win for me so I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this and I will see you guys in my next video and make sure you check the link down below for my 2,000 subscriber giveaway contest and how to enter all the details and everything like that and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys